Hello and welcome to the course of Computer Network Part 2 and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, one of the intra-domain uh, routing protocol uh, used in internet and its name is OSPF which stands for Open Shortest Path First and this particular routing protocol is uh, completely based on link state routing algorithm which uses uh, Dijkstra's as its uh, base algorithm. So first of all, uh, I want to tell you that it is it is uh, a global routing uh, uh, algorithm, and uh, it's it's uh, public in nature. It's open to all, and uh, one of the uh, main advantage advantage of this particular protocol is uh, unlike your routing information protocol RIP, this particular protocol uh, uh, OSPF doesn't have any uh, routers number of routers restriction as uh, you saw in the last lecture that uh, rip version 1 uh, has uh, some restrictions that 16th hope will be considered as uh, infinity but it uh, it's uh, nothing like that in ospf and the second main thing is this ospf is completely a global routing algorithm that means um, yeah. all the routers present in an autonomous system will uh, broadcast their personal information uh, in the autonomous system and uh, all the routers present in an autonomous system uh, have the complete blueprint of the autonomous system so uh, th this is the beauty of this particular routing protocol that uh, all the nodes present in an autonomous system mm, have their uh, have uh, the blueprint of the complete uh, network of the autonomous system so uh, in this uh, protocol we have ls packets instead of uh, distance vectors because the, this is uh, based on link state protocol and uh, uh, ospf advertisement carries only one entry per neighbor uh, advertisements flooded to entire autonomous system as I told you that it, it broadcast uh, uh, its information uh, in an autonomous system and uh, carried in OSPF messages directly over IP rather than TCP or UDP. Unlike your uh, routing information protocol which uses uh, UDP packets to uh, advertise or to share personal information to the neighbors this particular routing protocol uses their own OSPF messages directly over internet protocol rather than using TCP or UDP because it's it's a it's inside the autonomous system and this particular routing protocol is very much similar with ISIS routing protocol which stands for intermediate uh, intermediate um, routing uh, to intermediate routing intermediate to intermediate routing protocol isis and uh, it is very much similar to that and uh, the security part uh, of this routing uh, protocol is all ospf messages authenticated uh, to prevent the malicious intrusion multiple same cost paths allowed as uh, we saw in our in our uh, route, uh, routing information protocol RIP uh, only one path is allowed in RIP but here uh, multiple same cost path allowed uh, one of my student asked this question when we were discussing about uh, link state or uh, Dijkstra's routing algorithm that uh, if uh, we have got two paths with the same cost which one to, uh, to choose uh, out of those so it's like you can choose any one uh, it says over here that multiple same cost paths allowed and uh, link as uh, in, in RIP uh, link cost is always one but uh, it's not like uh, in OSPF it is completely up to the application it is completely up to the type of link which you are using it is completely up to the uh, traffic it is completely up to the toss bits which are present in our uh, uh, in our uh, packets 
and this this routing protocol provides you uh, unicast as well as multicast support and uh, it uses hierarchical uh, approach for uh, large domain that means if uh, your autonomous system uh, is very large it's got um, uh, very high number of routers so in that case it uses hierarchical OSPF uh, um, protocol it is it is one of the advantage of this particular protocol that it's not restricted to only 15 hopes it's it, it this particular routing protocol can be used um, to any number of routers so here we see how, how th that particular uh, big networks networks are managed in this particular routing protocol so it, the thing which you see uh, on your screen is hierarchical OSPF uh, according to hierarchical OSPF or OSPF OSPF uh, divides its uh, autonomous system a big autonomous system into uh, number of areas and out of those areas you can see area number one area number two area number three out of the, those areas you must have a backbone area as well and these areas do not these uh, areas do not talk with each other directly but all the areas talk with each other through backbone area that means each and every area present in uh, OSP of autonomous system uh, directly connected with the backbone area and they talk to each other um, talk to each other via the backbone area you can see the uh, diagram in this particular uh, slide that area 1 is connected with the uh, backbone area area 2 is also connected with the backbone area and area 3 is also connected with the backbone area now all the areas have a area border router which has the complete information of uh, its area like um, OSPF is used inside this area separately and uh, complete information of this particular area is uh, kept in this area border router which is used for connecting uh, local area with the uh, backbone area in the same way area 2 is got a uh, area border router which is used for connecting local area with the backbone area and this particular router which is called area border router is got all the information complete information of area 2 uh, which is developed through OSPF routing area 2 will run separate OSPF routing inside it and it will it will uh, generate uh, generate the information and that complete information of this particular area is kept inside this particular router in the same way for area 3 this is the area border router which is used for connecting both uh, local area and backbone area and that is how they talk with each other there is no direct talk with each other these are the internal routes uh, of uh, the areas which uh, you can see and uh, as you can see this is a complete autonomous system uh, which is uh, divided into four areas area 1 area 2 area 3 and backbone area and a backbone area has a, a router uh, with the name uh, boundary router which is which is used for connecting autonomous systems which is used for connecting uh, other autonomous system with this particular autonomous system and this boundary router is got the complete information of all the areas that is why all local areas present in OSPF autonomous system has to get connected with the backbone area uh, so that your uh, boundary router which is used for connecting autonomous systems together is got all the information of all the areas so that is why we have a concept of this uh, boundary router so uh, in hierarchical OSPF concept you must know about uh, three or four things like first of all the complete autonomous system is divided into n areas and out of those n areas one of the area is a backbone area to which all the other local areas are connected 
local areas are not supposed to talk directly they have to talk through uh, backbone area all the local area is got area border routers which are used for connecting uh, local areas uh, with the backbone area and backbone area is got a router which is called boundary router which is used for connecting um, autonomous system with the other autonomous system so this is the hierarchy of our ospf uh, protocol for connecting uh, for providing routing to a bigger autonomous system which has got uh, large number of uh, nodes present in it so it's very simple and uh, it's very easy uh, for for OSPF to manage if, if uh, that OSPF divides its autonomous system into a number of areas. And now we see uh, the structure that uh, two level hierarchy local area as you can see and backbone area link state uh, advertisements only in area as I told you each nodes uh, has detailed area topology only known direction shortest part to nets in other areas so in the same way as i told you in the last slide that uh, area border routers summarizes uh, distances to nets in own area advertises to other area border routers and uh, backbone routers are present in backbone area uh, and uh, routers present inside the backbone uh, area uh, run OSPF routing limited to the backbone area only and uh, uh, boundary uh, routers as, as you all know that they are also present in the backbone area which are used for connecting autonomous systems so as uh, in this particular uh, last slide we have discussed all the things that uh, OSPF divides the complete autonomous system into n areas and out of those n areas uh, one of the area is backbone area and all the other local areas are directly connected with that backbone area and uh, local areas are not supposed to talk with each other directly they have to uh, talk with each other through backbone area and uh, to be very precise they have to talk with each other with the help of area border routers present in local areas which has got all the information of their uh, respective areas they are the uh, leaders uh, on behalf of their uh, local areas which are used for connecting backbone area with the uh, local area and uh, backbone area has got routers uh, which are area water routers boundary routers and their local routers and they run their uh, OSPF protocol locally inside that area and uh, area border uh, router uh, are sorry and boundary routers are uh, not like uh, area border routers they are used for connecting uh, with the uh, other autonomous system they are the leaders uh, on behalf of the complete OSPF autonomous system uh, so that is how your uh, OSPF uh, protocol works which is completely based on uh, uh, your uh, link state routing uh, algorithm or registrars and uh, I hope it is uh, uh, clear to you any questions you can ask in the comments or uh, you can uh, call me uh, regarding this thank you very much in the last lecture uh, sorry in, in, in the coming lecture we are going to discuss uh, uh, border gateway protocol uh, BGP which is uh, again uh, used for it's it's not uh, no uh, it is it is used for um, connecting uh, autonomous systems together so bgp is a kind of protocol which is uh, interdomain in nature it's an interdomain routing protocol and um, uh, in the next lecture we'll uh, discuss that in detail thank you very much have a good day